For years, the Mac Mini has been Apple's quiet desktop. It was never the flashy centerpiece like the iMac, with its bright colors and all-in-one convenience. It wasn't the professional powerhouse like the Mac Studio or Mac Pro, and it didn't carry the lifestyle appeal of a MacBook Pro sitting open in a coffee shop. Instead, the Mac Mini lived in the shadows. A simple, compact box, designed to just get the job done without asking for attention. But 2025 changes everything. The Mac Mini M5 is no longer a background character. It's stepping into the spotlight, as one of Apple's most exciting computers in years. And it's doing it in a way nobody expected. For a long time, people underestimated the Mac Mini. Developers, small creative studios, and home offices quietly relied on it. They knew what it could do, even if the world wasn't watching. Now, with the M5 chip, Apple is finally saying, this machine belongs center stage. The heart of this transformation is the brand new M5 chip. Built on Apple's latest architecture, it's not just another incremental update, it's a leap forward. Apple claims the CPU is up to 45% faster than the previous M3 generation, and the GPU pushes performance 60% higher. These aren't just numbers on a spec sheet, they're improvements you feel instantly the moment you start working. Video exports that used to take hours now finish in minutes. Editing timelines that used to lag now run smoothly in real time. Code that used to compile slowly is ready in a fraction of the time. Apple has managed this by packing more transistors into the M5, which makes it faster, cooler, and more efficient. That means you're not only getting more performance, but also more stability when the machine is under load. For creatives, it's a dream come true. For developers, it's productivity unlocked. And for gamers, it's the first time the Mac Mini genuinely feels like it belongs in the conversation but the M5 isn't just about brute power, it's also smarter. Apple has completely redesigned the neural engine, and this makes a huge difference. For AI and machine learning, the Mac Mini M5 adapts to your workflow, transcribing audio, cleaning up noisy images, applying AI filters to photos, tasks that used to drag on now happen instantly. A photo editor can apply complex AI-powered filters and watch them appear in real time. A designer can run advanced generative tools without lag, slowing down creativity. A data scientist can process large sets locally without waiting for cloud servers. This is where the Mac Mini M5 stands apart from earlier models. It's not just faster, it's learning and adjusting to the work you're doing. That makes the machine feel alive in a way older computers never could. Every click feels more responsive. Every process feels like it's one step ahead of you. Design, though, remains familiar. Apple didn't abandon what made the Mac Mini iconic. It's still a compact aluminum square, minimal and elegant. But in 2025, the details feel sharper. The edges are more defined, the finish is smoother, and on the top sits a softly glowing Apple logo. A small detail that feels like a nod to the glowing MacBooks of the past. The real design breakthrough is hidden inside. Apple has re- The entire thermal system, cool air flows from the bottom, and hot air exits through the sides and rear. The result is a machine that stays cool and consistent. Even when running demanding tasks like 3D rendering or 8K video exports, performance doesn't dip. The computer doesn't get noisy. It simply works, no matter how much you push it. Specs are just numbers. But what matters is how they feel in daily use. With the Mac Mini M5, you immediately notice the difference. A video editor exporting a 4K project sees the time shrink dramatically. A colorist can grade footage live, without dropped frames. A developer can run multiple emulators, compile massive projects, and still stream music, keep dozens of tabs open, and jump between apps without slowdown. Everyday users feel it too, opening Photoshop, joining a Zoom call, syncing files, streaming 8K video, and still moving between tasks instantly. Once you experience that level of responsiveness, it's hard to go back. Connectivity is another area where Apple has leveled up. The Mac Mini M5 doesn't make you choose between power and ports. It gives you everything you need for a modern setup. Two Thunderbolt 5 ports handle high-speed data transfers and external GPU connections. Two SBA ports keep older accessories alive. An HDMI 2.2 port supports 8K output future-proofing your desk for the next generation of displays. There's a 10 gigabit Ethernet port for lightning-fast wired networking. A high-impedance headphone jack ensures professionals can use studio-grade audio gear. And on the wireless side, it's ready for the future with Wi-Fi 7 and Bluetooth 5.4, meaning faster. More stable connections for everything from keyboards to VR headsets. Memory and storage are equally few. The base model starts with 16 gigabytes of unified memory, shared between CPU and GPU, which means no bottlenecks when moving data between them. Heavy users can scale up to 64 gigabytes. Storage starts at 512 gigabytes of SSD and goes all the way to a massive 8 terabytes. These SSDs are 50% faster than before, meaning projects load almost instantly. File transfers finish in seconds and even boot times feel nearly instant. 
For professionals handling massive media files, this speed isn't just nice, it's essential and here's one of the biggest surprises, silence. The new dual fan system, paired with smart thermal sensors, keeps everything whisper Even under heavy workloads like 3D rendering, AI training, or gaming, the Mac Mini doesn't roar like other desktops. It stays calm, quiet, and cool. For people working in shared offices, classrooms, or studios, that makes a huge difference. The Mac Mini M5 arrives alongside Mac OS 15, codenamed Vart. This version of Mac OS is built specifically to take advantage of the M5 chip. Apps launch instantly. Updates install faster than ever. Multitasking feels effortless. New features like dynamic docking reorganize your workspace automatically depending on what you're doing. Universal Stage Manager gives you more control over windows and layouts. And there's even a new AI assistant, still in beta, that manages files, suggests actions, and keeps background processes optimized. The OS isn't just running on the M5, it's working with it. So, who is the Mac Mini M5 for? The answer has changed. It's no longer just an entry-level Mac. This is a machine for video editors who need speed, developers who want efficiency, designers who need smooth creative tools, musicians who demand stability, students who want one desktop that does it all, and families who want a future-ready computer. In short, it's for everyone who values performance without compromise. And here's the shocker. The value is better than expected. The base model starts at $1,199. A fully maxed out version with 64 gigabytes. RAM and 8 terabytes SSD hits $2,999. That might sound high, but compared to similar PCs or even Apple's own higher end desktops, it's excellent value. Pair it with a good monitor, keyboard, and mouse and you have a professional workstation for less than a premium laptop. The Mac Mini has a new identity now. It's no longer the entry-level computer that quietly lived in the background. With the M5 chip, smarter software, refined design, and serious connectivity, it's become a true desktop powerhouse. Small in size, massive in ability. And in 2025, the Mac Mini isn't just ready to keep up, it's ready to lead. Looking at Apple's bigger strategy, the Mac Mini M5 represents something bold. For years, Apple's desktop lineup was clearly divided. The iMac was the fun, approachable one. The MacBook Pro was the professional laptop. The Mac Studio was the high-end machine. The Mac Pro was the ultimate niche tower. And the Mini was the entry point. But in 2025, Apple has blurred those lines. The Mini is no longer entry level. It's powerful enough to compete with almost every other machine in the lineup. That makes it one of the best values in Apple's catalog. This shift also changes the way people think about desktops in general. Laptops have been dominant for years. But the Mini proves desktops still matter. A desktop doesn't have to be huge. It doesn't have to be noisy. It doesn't have to be overpriced. The Mini is small, silent, and relatively affordable. Yet it delivers performance that rivals machines costing much more. That's a powerful statement in today's market. The impact goes beyond Apple. Competitors now have to respond. PC makers who built compact desktops will need to rethink their designs. Workstations that used to dominate creative industries are now being challenged by something the size of a lunchbox. Apple isn't just competing, it's setting new expectations. Let's also look ahead. Where does the Mac Mini go from here? With the M5, Apple has created a machine that balances size, price, and performance better than ever. But it also lays the foundation for future growth. AI and machine learning are only going to become more important. Apple's redesigned neural engine makes the Mini a leader in this space. As software evolves, the Mini will be ready. And what about the future of displays VR and AR? The Mini already supports 8K output. Pair it with a headset like Apple Vision Pro, and you suddenly have a desktop that's ready for immersive environments. The line between computer and creative tool keeps getting thinner. The Mac Mini M5 stands at that crossroads. Dot, at the end of the day, the story of the Mac Mini M5 is simple. A small computer that was once overlooked has transformed into a powerhouse. It's powerful enough for professionals, flexible enough for students, quiet enough for studios, and affordable enough for families. It's not trying to be flashy. It's not trying to replace the iMac or the MacBook. It's carving its own identity. And in 2025, that identity is clear. The Mac Mini M5 is no longer the quiet one in Apple's family. It's the one you can't ignore.